And the reason that you can go into get rid of your Khmer system. Let's talk about how you imagine things in English, how you think some things in English. So this is the reason you're going to have a big thoughts in English, and this is how you begin to build your amazing thoughts in English, right? But before to do this, you need to make sure you have a great environment of studying English. No matter what specific subject that you're going to master, speaking, listening, writing, or reading. Welcome to Effortless English Video Day, where we share English content every day and where we learn to speak English powerfully, naturally, and fluently. Good afternoon and welcome back to me, Roti, right here. Effortless English Video Day or English Solutions with Roti. So, in this video, I have one things to talk about and I need you to listen and also watch this video from the beginning until the end to make sure you will get some particular keys to master and also going to unlock your English make sure that your English become very widely used right you actually can speak English much much more stronger this is like the reason I want you to stay focused and concentrate to this video so the thing I have heard from a friend of mine and also they got to ask me on telegram when i got one hour for speaking english with the tea every all right maybe like uh, for the week we actually got specific days to practice only one hour you guys can join but at that time um, a friend of mine or so like this member of english solutions with, with tea on telegram channel he has asked me the question like how do I engage with English studying? How do I study English with great or like a amazing environment or like efficient environments to make sure that I can feel comfortable to speak English? Because as we have known already, in our Cambodia, Cambodia is not an English speaking country. Cambodia is just the country choose English as the second language. So most of Cambodian people we are speaking Khmer, right? Because Khmer is our native language. So we prefer to speak or we prefer speaking Khmer language to communicate, you know, when we go outside, we stay in home, we have like family talk or we have like a discussion, okay? We enjoy with the coffee time. We definitely speak only Khmer, mostly. But related to business or People, they actually got international business, international meeting, something like that. So they prefer speaking any English to communicate or build their connection, especially extend like a business reason, something like that. But let's take a look to the point that I have mentioned earlier related to how we engage or how we going to have English background for speaking, right? Or for doing particular thing that you can. For learning English. So the points that I have told anybody is to understand when you got to learn English, you got to speak English, and the reason that you can go into get rid of your Khmer system. Let's talk about how you imagine things in English, how you think some things in English. So this is the reason you're going to have a big thoughts in English, and this is how you begin to build your amazing thoughts in English, right? But before to do this, you need to make sure you have a great environment of studying English. No matter what specific subject that you're going to master, speaking, listening, writing, or reading, all of them would be included in a great way. We could say, you should have great environment for studying. But do we need to have only like uh, the way of studying English, like the background, where we can find that? Where we can define the way to study English, especially the background. So in this video, let me actually demonstrate how or which is the best way that we could have just like an amazing environment that we can practice our English. I recommend like two ways. Number one, we actually call like online sources. So this way you need to find, you don't need to find a better environment anymore. Just make sure that you are using smartphone, you are using computer or laptop to make sure you can access on internet, right? Trying to find out. Uh, what is the most important things, what is the most important interesting things on internet to make sure that you enjoy only English language. So you need to turn yourself in a great mood in English only. No Khmer language and no Khmer thinking. You need to begin to read 
something on internet or you need to begin watching you need to begin watching any English videos on internet or on YouTube go to YouTube all right so I recommend so I highly recommend four particular things that you could do if you really want to master your English by watching you can do that why not so number one podcast in English just first make sure you like the content make sure the content of the podcast will be interesting to learn especially the thing you are interested to learn right the thing you want to master just you are exhausted about studying English just like learning vocabularies right study about grammar so go to watch the videos in English no come on and try to think you know make sure that you have watching them more than 15 minutes this is my recommendation but again this is could be the most important call value or the most important call thing when you begin watching those videos make sure the level would be little compatible but if you try to watch the video much more higher than your level so you cannot you're unable to understand all English words especially the more you watch this video that look more higher than your level the harder you engage to those contents so that's why again this is my great advice that you could accept and try to change make sure your content you like the most you love the most the most important thing the, the level would be similar to you all right so after watching like English videos like short English videos podcast the show comedian show or kind of like uh, you know funny show you have to watch all of them to make sure how people get engaged to the English how they speak English something like that on the show you know on the stage you have to watch all of their activities to make sure to get some better improvement of body language right applies to yourself and this is like the great way that I could tell you and I used to do so so that's why and the next one would be about the videos related to short tips or short techniques of studying English some people they got you know interesting or impressive methods to make sure that you can study English effectively so you have to watch make sure that you you have gain you have time to understand about somebody methods right do not try to focus only one way so sometimes my way, my way would be a little better but sometimes my, my way would be a little low so you have to make sure you like the method right you understand the method effectively or 100% so you can do it execute your action or try to process your your stage you know the way you're going to do that so you will have the great result by doing them all right but make sure you have a goal of watching them all right okay this is like the thing you can engage with English on internet you don't need to find like English teacher or online English teacher going to show or guideline you but I'm telling you already right now here right you are listening or you are watching my video so focus on this video that would be a big help or a big support to you already all right but I told you this point because I do believe on online I do believe this is technology era anybody can know things to do things much better or easier so this way could be uh, much better than anybody else or it could be like the great thing is going to lift you up or you know show the way you to do thing okay up to you engage or you have time for doing related to your English performance you can do another way this is called like how you're going to make or create your English background so this one would be a little harder but I recommend as well if you really want to begin your thinking in English so first you have to talk to the people would be close to you right just make sure try to understand about the places or location would be compatible to you or you know comfortable to you as well just like you you pick home or you take home as your studying place okay so what you're going to do with this place make sure that people are not going to annoy you they're going to listen and tries to make your time would be on yourself like you can take the time to master your English just my recommendation when you are at home first of all try to connect yourself to English the reason or the way I say try to connect yourself in English going to begin thinking in English right just like uh, the way you describe something the way you imagine something where you got definition at the point okay like uh, in your room right now you don't have friends uh, to speak English with you but you have to make sure you are in English situation 
all things you need to connect them in English only. When you see something in front of your face, just like I'm talking to you, uh, for example, I got something on my hand, I tried to scrub that thing, what is it? And I'm going to detail about its definition, like drawbacks or kind of like backbones, you know, related to that thing that I actually got in my hand. So how the way we do this regularly or routinely, we're going to have little thinking in English right from now. So again, don't try to answer something shortly because when you try to answer or you're going to explain something that you have to answer shortly, very short. So this is going to end your, your thinking quickly. So I don't want or I don't recommend you to do this. If you got things to describe, you got things to detail or you got things to address. You need to go a little deeper and try to focus on the main things. Make sure that you need to tell more things about that. How you like it, how the thing look like, right? Or why you like it. Just like simple question, sometimes learn to answer your question by yourself. And this could be like we call self-talk. You ask yourself, you give yourself like small things to discuss. You give yourself a small problem to think about. When you got a problem to think about, your mind is going to be thinking you begin to think in English, right? By doing that. So you don't need to look up the meanings in Khmer. No, this time Khmer is off. You need to off your Khmer language right now. So begin to think like me, begin to do the actions like what I'm telling you, okay? Learn to describe, learn to tell a story in English, learn to imagine some things in English. When you got something or the definition on, you know, like uh, elf, you are using like dictionary app or you are using kind of like an online dictionary. So after that time, what you have to do, all you have to do is just going to understand or pick up that word. For example, like I got the word ambiguity. So ambiguity or the word apparatus, right? Apparatus or ambiguity. So ambiguity is just like the noun. But the definition is quite hard to understand. So how to process or brew understanding about this word, we don't need to do anything. Just actually tries to give yourself the space to think about that a while and learn to understand about the definition in English. When you got definition in English already, what you have to do next, try to make sure that you can understand it with the picture or with the way you imagine. So you need to give yourself a imagine, like a great picture, a great visualization about this. And that would be a visible way to study this understand by picture connects to definition. And this is called like how native speakers learn about their vocabulary. We don't learn focus only one side of definition, but we do understand about its picture, its imagination or real examples. It's just like ambiguity, this word I got in my head. So, or I got it right now. I just say it earlier. So the thing I need to make sure that I can understand it, just try to imagine with example, how you give example correctly to this statement or to this right situation or this context. For example, so the definition of the word ambiguity, we actually can understand that just like something, maybe one possible answer. That thing will be unclear. Something is quite like uh, complicated to know. Just like we got one answer about that thing, but we will have another way. We will have another answer about that. If we find another reason to prove that thing would be this or would be that. So you see that ambiguity would be like something secret or something unclear, something like can be another thing else. Just like this, when you actually found it or you actually find this in your example. Mostly this word would be happens when you tries to find something that you got and you are not specific or you are not 100% clear about that where it is because you feel like it could be another way to understand it. This we actually call ambiguity. But now you are listening or you are watching my video. You feel better understanding what I'm telling you because I try to give you a real example, especially with my imagination. So keep your imagination, keep your visualization, especially keep thinking. This is called connecting to your brand. And this is how you program your brands in English. And this is how you connect yourself to learn with environment of English. You're going to create it by yourself. No one else. You can do it. All right, so that's it about the video that I have told anybody about this. And I believe some of you guys have any problem of thinking in English because you asked me the question, you know, like a previous time you have asked me like, hey, ready? 
I get a problem of studying English, I, I got like my thinking in my brain, so I don't know how to do it, I don't know how to release it. Do my ways. Actually, go to follow what I'm showing you, you will have it. You will know the ways to unlock yourself. When you actually connected yourself already to English, okay, you don't need to do anything. Just learn to describe, learn to think in English, learn to answer the question by yourself, okay, and learn to follow by your topic. You at least need to give yourself one small topic to think about a problem, but you got a problem to think, you need to give yourself like any reason. So learn to describe things much more longer as you can. Don't answer short. You have to answer something long as you can, right? Don't go short. So the next video, I'm going to be talking about how you give yourself with small topics to think about. How you need to have like self question. I mean like a question yourself or how to give yourself like small topics, something like this. So when you got small topics to think about, you're going to begin skilled of explaining something. This is like the reason I'm telling you today. Okay, so again, we are moving to the end of the video or the last of the video. But I hope 100% that you actually have followed or subscribed to my YouTube channel, right? English solution with a T is mine. Effortless English with a T is mine. And also, you really want to learn, actually want to have one hour speaking English with a T every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, four days. From 10 to 11, you will have one hour speaking English with me. You can join to listen or you can ask me any question. And I am there going to help anybody. Again, if you really want to master your English, join to be my premium member. $5 per month, you will have all methods they have created. And I am here to help you to understand English and learn to speak like a native. Especially to speak a little faster as you can, right? Again, I'm not going to try to speak English quite hard as I do in like before. No, this is my habit. My ordinary habit, okay? You got it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.